Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Monday, May 9th, and this is Stitcher Stash number four. So Stitcher Stash is something that I started recently where I pull yarn out of my stash that's been sitting there for a while, and then I use it up. I try to use up every bit of it as much as I can, unless it's like a little scrap ball, and then I can put it in my scrap container. So uh, this time, I pulled out, I had one full... Uh, skein of this yarn and then I also had a scrap ball that was about half of another skein wound up so I pulled those out of my stash and it is I love this yarn make noise for turquoise there it is and it's a number four worsted weight yarn 100% acrylic and yeah so I just started looking for patterns to make with it and I I made four things with it and it was I used up this whole ball and then I used up most of that scrap ball. There's like literally a little tiny one. I was afraid I was going to run out of um, yarn. But I did not. So first, uh, the first thing I found that I made. Let me get my note here. Let's see here. Yeah, okay. Was, is called the Entertaining Doily. And it's by Sarah Satch. Which is Posh Pooch Designs. And it's a free pattern. Um, I think she's got. I think she's got a video tutorial for most of her patterns. I'll for sure link the written one down. And if there's a video, I'll link it below too. So I used an H hook, which is a five millimeter. And uh, I didn't do the entire pattern. So what I did was I did most of it. <laughs> um, I didn't do the like scalloped border. Well, actually I did do it, but it curled up really bad. And uh, I don't deal with like blocking and stuff. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> so I just ripped it out and left it this way. And it does kind of bevel a little, but I don't mind that because what I made it for is to set underneath one of my plants. I'm using it as like a plant doily. <laughs> um, so it's it's living under, it's a little dirty because it's already been sitting under um, my new Swiss cheese plant that I got for Mother's Day. So it lives underneath that plant. <laughs> so uh, when it's sitting on the floor with the plant on it, it looks nice and flat, it doesn't curl up or anything. So I thought that was really cute. But it does have like a um, pretty little border. And I did it, but it was just, it curled up the whole thing like a little bowl shape. And uh, I didn't like that, so I just ripped it out. But, uh, so that was the first thing I made with it. And then I made another Sarah Satch pattern. I love her pattern. She always makes really nice patterns. And this one is called the Summer Fun Headband. And again, I used uh, an H hook, which is five millimeter. So it is a headband that you tie on. I'm not gonna tie it because I have a ponytail and it'll get my hair will get tangled into it. But it's just a cute headband I thought I could wear around the house. I've made a few of her headbands before, but there it is. It's like a V-stitch pattern this way, <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. Let's make sure it was upside down. So it's just a really simple pattern. You just you chain and then you make a little increase uh, triangle. Then you do that V-stitch row all the way to the right size and then you do decrease and then chain <laughs> and there you go. But I like it. I think it's cute. It looks better when my hair is down. <laughs> but I thought I could wear it around the house and stuff when I'm cleaning to keep my hair out of my face. So that was the second thing I made with the turquoise yarn. And then the third thing, this is when I needed to use the scrap ball. Because this project took the rest of the skein and then most of this scrap ball. Um, and it is, I can't show it too good sitting here. But it is a wind spinner. <laughs> and it's pretty long. I made it really long. That's all of it. <laughs> this isn't technically done. I did not have enough. Um, okay, so this was the last thing I made. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I didn't have enough um, of this yarn to make a tassel. This was the last thing I made. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> I, I'm getting out of order. But I didn't have enough um, of the yarn left over. It was just a little tiny scrap ball, like that big, really small, to make a tassel. So I'll have to make a tassel out of a different color. And I'm going to attach it, the yarn to a, what are they called, a spinner something, <laughs> some kind of fishing lure thing that my husband has some in a tackle box, but I have to dig it out of the closet, <laughs> uh, and it's a type of lure where you have the fishing line, and then you put it on there, and then you have more fishing line coming from it, that way this end can spin and spin and spin and spin, and it doesn't snap your line, because the little, uh, lure piece <laughs> is allowing this down here to spin so I'm going to attach that to this yarn and then have something else maybe a little chain or fishing line or something 
attach the top of it to hook outside <laughs> on the hook. That way this can spin and spin and spin and spin and the yarn won't get twisted up, you know, the way it would if I just hung the yarn up. Um, it'll just spin forever <laughs> until that little uh, piece of metal gives out. <laughs> but anyways, so this isn't 100% done, but it's mostly done. The crochet is done. But, and this took a while, Lord. <laughs> but I used this, uh, the tutorial from Ophelia Talks, which is a YouTube tutorial here on YouTube. I'll link it below. Um, so, yeah, and I think I used a hook for it too. Where is it? Yes, I used a hook for all of these. And then, but actually before that, because that took up the last of the yarn, I was afraid it was going to run out. Before I made the spinner, I did make one of the squares that I'm making to, like, collect a bunch of squares to eventually make a scrap blanket out of. And this is called the Small Winter Burst Square. And it is by Dragonfly Mom of Two. Used H hook as well. And uh, I'll link it below too. So now I have four of these. I have three in the blue I used last stitch your stash. And then I have this pretty one. This is like a blue color with like white through it. Um, and then, you know, over throughout the year I'll make a bunch of these. And then when the time comes for me to connect them, I will um, probably put a solid color border that matches on all of them. And then I'll mix them all up so that, like, there's not similar colors by each other. But, so I got four projects. So I got my big old wind spinner, which is all floppy. I'll straighten it out once I'm hanging it up. Square. Headband. And plant doily, which I need to make some more of these. So the next stitch or stash, whatever yarn I pull out, I might make some more of these. Because I got a lot of plants that need something to sit on. And uh, one of them will have to be bigger than this because I got one big plant. My pothos is um, really big. So... Uh, I'm going to make some more, maybe not the same pattern, but some more doilies for my plants. So I got four projects out of that, um, whole full skein and then a half, about a half a skein in the form of a ball. <laughs> so I get to add one, um, empty label to my May labels, which this is the first one. <laughs> and, uh, I got four projects out of this. That's pretty cool. So far in May, I've already finished 11 items, which is more than April. In April, I think I only had nine. Yeah, and all of April I had nine, and so far the first little over a week of May I've gotten um, 11. I have two more whips started, which I'll share with you guys. Uh, one of them I'll be sharing with you guys tomorrow in No Kitchen Name, and then the other one's for Wednesday. How much are working on Wednesday? So, I'm excited about that. They're both Emma Grimmies, so I'll be sharing them with you guys over the next few days. But I'm going to hop off here, and I'll leave all these patterns down below if you want to check them out. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.